So my name is Edita Setar. I am so happy to be at the market. You have no idea. I work all summer, September, beginning of October, just to get ready, prep everything, bring my stuff, and show you how to spread your wings and fly. How is that? There are some butterflies in my collection this time. I have new fabrics for you, and I have a books. I have a little surprise for you if you visit me in my booth tomorrow. I have journals, and I will show them tonight at this shopping spree as well. Beautiful new journals that feature a lot of our quilts. And I'm a detective quilter. There are things that I love myself about quilting. And some of you don't know how I was introduced to Orofil threads, and it's one of my favorite things. Many times I said if I had to end up on an island, someplace, all by myself, the two things that I would take is my thread, Sarah Michael. <laughs> I'm glad to see he's there. Now you know. <laughs> my Oracle thread and my needle. Because with those two things, you can put anything together. You really don't need anything else. And I want to show you, I indeed use Oracle threads in everything I make, anything I do, even clothing for my kids. Yes, I brought a picture of a prom dress. <laughs> um, yes, 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 mama does that. <laughs> I am a 17 year old and I tell you what, as cute as she is, don't let it be fooled by that. <laughs> when I say no to her, I indeed have to look to the side and don't look at me in her eyes. That's how hard it is to say no. <laughs> But let's talk about our film thread and why do I use them? My first spool of thread, I was introduced to it, was a shop in Pennsylvania and the only carry one color, 2370. And this color is one of my personal favorites. I use it all the time. And at first when I looked at it, the spool, uh, it felt expensive to me. But the second I bought it, I went and bought another one because I did not want to run out of it. That's how nice it was. And I'm not just telling you this, I indeed use the Oracle thread, and it's easy for me to talk about it. Where do I use Oracle threads? I use it in many different projects. Why do I choose Oracle as my threads? And this a picture right here shows you my newest box of Oracle threads. Uh, do you remember my few of my favorite things? The one colors that goes with a lot of the fabrics that I designed, that I use it all the time. I have a new box that is Adidas threads, my favorite. Just like the fabrics I have, Adidas Essentials, things that um, I like to have it handy all the time, this group of threads will be the same thing. I have some lights, and I have three of them. They're uh, light dashes, camel, very warm, and a light light one. I have a gray in it, dusty blue gray, and a beautiful blue that I can accent something with it. Then I have my favorite two greens, and I love that I call it yucky green. So Alex, I, I just love this green. When I have to make a, a fresh little leaf on applique or anything else, this green just brings more color to it. It has a tint of yellow to it and makes the greens even better. This is my dark green and it can go on any branches and any leaves I would like it. You always need two good threads, one that will stand out and your heart skip a beat for it, and the one that is settled, calm, cool, and collected, a little bit more aging red. And then brown, of course, perfect for branches and anything that is dark. I like black, but I don't use it often. My brown is one that I use more for stitching around applique. I don't know why the black seem to for me stand out too much. The brown look more vintage, washed out, something that I like, the look that I like. Uh, the box of 12 has 12 <coughs> spools. The box of 10 has 10 small, beautiful spools. It has a similar colors in it, and a um, little bit smaller spools for customers that just want to try it for the first time, for some smaller project. I love the colors, and we'll talk about them, why I choose those. Then I love the weight 50 on our fill threads. The tinted thread works for me great because when I seam, when I make my seams, it, it's not bulky. When I press it, I can slide my hand, I can feel where the seam is, but I don't feel the bulk of the thread. 
I always use in my bobbin oracle thread and then I use it on the top. And this is just me. And you can try it at home. For some reason, when I use my spool standing up this way, it works better than when I lay it down and forget, you know, that little attachment that you're supposed to put it on the front of your thread and it just <laughs> fills. No, so standing it up gives a little bit better attention to me and I like it. Maybe because of my machine, try it. Maybe it's something you want to add it to your clothing experience. So in a button, always artful thread, set an artful thread in a um, um, top and you're ready to go. The quality of artful thread is amazing to me. When I stitch with it, half of the length, and I tell you what, I don't just quilt, I have a sweatshop in my studio. <laughs> I make a lot of quilts. And I just whip them one after the other, and sometimes I'm a little lazy and I don't want to clean my sewing machine, but every time I do it, I am thrilled that I use Oracle thread because there isn't much to clean up. So that works really nice. On my threads go with, I told you about this, and it's essential. It's a group of batiks, that it's an in-house batiks that you can buy it all the time, and you can have it like a little rainbow wall, and I have the yellows, the reds, my favorite <coughs> blues, the blues shaped in a darker colors, lovely green and browns, and of course my backgrounds. So this box of thread, that I have it right here, not only go with all the projects that I'm doing right now, but it also goes with this particular group of fabric. And if you wanted to know the chart of it, once you purchase your box, you will find the chart of the fabrics inside. So your customers, when they purchase it, they can look at it and choose also the batiks, and it's easier for you to order those. So next time, and if you want the what's right here on the edge is one of my new quilts, I'm working on it. I use my Oracle threads for traditional piecing. Just chain sewing, just sit my little button down and zoom, 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 zoom one piece after the other. And I uh, sew the tips of my Dresden balloons right here. Then I set in another piece in between and created this beautiful quilt right here called Dresden Bloom. When I like to add something special to it, I applicate. And I use my artful threads for piecing and applique. And let's look at some appliques. Of course, one of personal favorite, I wish I had more time and can do it a lot of it, it's hand applique. Well, it takes me a year to make one hand applique quilt because I do it just a little bit at a time. One thing that I noticed was Oracle threads and weight 50, I cut a shorter string of a thread. I don't cut it a really long run. I cut just about 14 inches. Because as I'm applicating and I'm putting a lot of nice small stitches, the thread may be weakened up as I'm coming to the end of the thread. And you don't want it. So shorter length and you can match the colors or you can use the 2370 that goes very much with all the tongs that I have. So this is hand applique. And I just want to let you know, for hand applique, I love using embroidery needles because it has a, a bigger hole, and I don't have to admit that I need glasses on <laughs> <laughs> Machine applique, fusible applique, is one that I go into it all the time when I have to make a quilt quickly, beautiful, nice finish, and you can really show off the threads by using decorative stitches like blanket or button stitch or satin stitch around the edges of applique. And in this case, for the umbrella quilt, what I did is I uh, took my spools that I had in a box and I did all my blues, anything that was blue, then I flipped it and did anything that has uh, reds or oranges, then I went and did the next color and went through the blocks and in no time I had an excellent uh, finished edge on my quilt that when you slide your finger is not too bulky but you can see it and it adds, adds extra detail to it. Sometimes I do not want to show my stitches because it's late at night and I just don't want to do it. So what I do is I put a 2370 in a bobbin and I use invisible thread from Aurofil. It is a thread that I find it quite nice and I experiment with it. I sew the zigzag, 
I took an iron, I put the iron on it, and I stood there, and I stood there, and smoked a cigar. <laughs> no, I do not smoke cigars. <laughs> I waited it to see how long can I keep the iron on, and if the thread will melt it, it will change the color, because before I use it in my clothes and recommend it to you, I want to make sure that it's nice. And guess what? It was wonderful. So anytime that I don't want to show stitches, I use the invisible thread on the top and I use a small zigzag stitch. I have a close up right here for you. And like I said, always cotton thread in the bottom. For this applique, I switch the threads on the top. I use an Oracle 2370 in the bottom all the time. I don't change the color. I change my tension a little bit. So that way I'm not bringing up any thread from the bottom. And it's the same with invisible thread. Lower the tension so that way you do not bring up any of the threads from the bottom. Raw edge applique. Another wonderful idea for appliques where you can show up the threads. So after fusing my pieces, I'm gonna use my thread, oracle thread, to quilt it down, staying one eighth away from the edge on the inside of the applique <coughs> and just go all around it. All the edges of my fabric would be raw, but the detail of the stitching just add an extra flavor. When you have a leaf and you stitch right through the middle, it just emphasizes that indeed it's a nature gift. For paper piecing, Yes, I use oracle thread. On the top, in the bottom, I make my stitches a little bit closer together. And that's why it's very important to use weight 50 because when the stitches come closer together, you are building a bulk of thread in your seams. And uh, uh, I don't want to do this, so it works wonderful with oracle thread. I just make my stitches straight, sew it, flip it open, and create a uh, foundation piece quilts like this, paper piece quilts, absolutely love it. Later on, because the thread is slider, I can easily rip the paper away from the back. I also use Oracle thread when I travel on the road, and I do hand sewing. <coughs> English piecing has been my favorite, and I took this picture before I put the blocks into the quilt. The quilt is finished, I will show it to you in just a moment. When I do hand piecing, again, I use our program. For head pieces, I like to use to strength of it. So I um, go to the needle, tie it together, and I have to strength. It gives me a little bit more security. For some reason, I feel if one thread breaks, I have the second one still done. So that's just me. And of course, binding the last touch to your quill. With a smooth slip stitch, you can use our thread to use it in a binding. Our newest and our smallest low quilt, right here, is the one uh, from uh, that you can find the fabrics in the kit and you can find the threads and a little sweetheart pattern. This product is coming to your stores right now. It was released with my Heart Content collection, but this is one of the first Oracle kit fabric threads where you find both the fabric and the thread in one. And I stitch all the little parts around it with my Oracle threads. I quilt it, I did the binding with Oracle threads. Every aspect of this quilt was done with it and it looked just wonderful. I don't only use Oracle threads for quilting. Sometimes I make front dresses. <laughs> No, do not call me to make one for you. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is fussy enough. I take my fabrics and I have the most amazing box of Oracle threads that I thought, you know, I'm never going to use all these colors. And then guess what? One after the other. Anytime I need something, the colors match perfectly. I can pull it out and stitch it together and make a wonderful dress. At first I was hesitant because my mom used to be uh, a seamstress, she sewed and she always told me I need a strong thread if you don't want your seams to rip and so and so and so. It works wonderful. Every dress that I've made for Anna, it was just amazing. And notice the hand in the bottom of her dress. I just whip stitch very gently and was able to 
a stitch through the silk shirt top in her dress, and the thread, the collar, matched it perfectly so none of the stitches showed. I promise you the last quilt, and with it, I wanted to thank you for your time and listening about it, how much I love our doll dress. And I'm, I'm thrilled that Alex is here, but it would be so much easier to tell you about how much I love it if you would not be in the room because I'm so excited about it and I want you to know that if you care, I, what I do as a teacher, I bring oracle threads to my classes and I bring the smaller spokes and I ask the girls, would you like to try it? And sometimes they want to try the thread. Every single person that tries it goes back and buy the big spoke. So here with the smaller spoke is a little invitation of try it, see how you like it, and then they can proceed and buy their own big school, all use it uh, by the kit. It has been a wonderful addition to some of my quilts. And I have brought the quilts as well to show you because it's always so much better to see the quilts. And I have a, um, a, a mini a big butterfly with me. There it is. This is one of our newest ones. Quilted with oracle threads, stitched it around, quilted inside the uh, wings, did a body with oracle threads, and uh, we don't have the mini quilt with us. It's in our booth, but we also have a small cute little version of it. I'm gonna show you in our next schoolhouse. But guess what? If you wanna make little butterflies, this is just a preview. Mora will have kids to do those. But guess what? Before Mora gets the kids to you, I made up some kids, and you come and visit me, and few of my customers, unfortunately, don't have one for everybody, because I have all my fabrics, and I only got so many out of it, but some of you will get kids from me, and today, one of you, so we're gonna have five browsers, would get this kit. Laser cut butterfly pieces, all my fabrics, beautiful binding in a bag, you can do this in your hotel room. I'm telling you, it's that easy. And if you would like to add some wonderful oracle threads from the jelly bean or our new Adidas threads, or if you want something simple, I want to tell you about those blue and whites that always goes with my winter collection. And not to spill some beans, they will come handy for the next group of winter. <laughs> So think about those So uh, boxes like this, winter essentials, when I design something, I don't think about just one season and then you stuck with the colors that you can't use with anything else. The threads that I choose are ones that I know I'm going to use it over and over and over again and I hope you and your customers will do it too. So set a good example for your customers, go all of them.